Hi church, my name is Holly Dayton and this is a daily reflection on the topic of healing. A little backstory, I have been attending St. John's since the beginning of February. Um, that's when I arrived in Portsmouth to be in a chorus line at Seacoast Repertory Theater. I normally reside in New York City, that's where my vacant apartment is right now. And when the pandemic started, I decided to stay in town when talking about healing, the first thing that comes to mind for me is that the only way we can pursue it or find it is when we name what it is that we're going through. When we face the unknown, we face our fears, we face our discomfort. That's the only way through to get to healing. And I think during this time with the pandemic and racial inequality, there's so many things in the world that are out of our control and are probably uncomfortable for a lot of people and kind of taking us out of our norm and making us face the reality of our situations. But I think the beautiful thing about that is that on the other side, there is healing. And we are able to share in this collective grief and to be there for one another, to be praying and leaning on God and leaning on each other when it is needed. Um, because I am an artist, I heavily uh, seek and pursue healing through art. So I, I think firmly that God is such a creative God. You step outside and you see these beautiful different breeds of flowers, or you watch the sunrise or the sunset, and you can't help but know and believe in your heart that God is amazingly creative. And I think as human beings, we all need creativity in our life, whatever that looks like. For some, it may be you enjoy cooking a new recipe, for others, writing poetry. For me, it's always been dance. Um, it's been such a transcendental experience. Every time I dance, I feel so connected with God. And it's been really amazing as I've grown older, just really being connected through art to God and just building my relationship with Him and building my craft. Um, so as I was thinking about healing this week, the verse that really comes to mind for me is Ecclesiastes chapter three. I'm gonna read verses one through four to you all. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. And I think it's so important during this time, it's okay to cry, it's okay to scream, it's okay to smile, it's okay to find moments of joy, to know that this healing process, this collective grief that we're all experiencing, that it is normal and that we have each other in this and we're, we're here for each other and that God is in the middle of it with us. He's right by our side. And I wanted to share with you all, um, a choreographer in LA named Tara Olson put together this project to the song called The Blessing and invited dancers from all over the world to worship and to improv with God and to send her videos and, and make a collective video of all of us together. And so I wanted to share with you all um, a dance meditation that I put together to the blessing and it was a really neat experience of getting on my knees and praying and asking God to speak through my movement and to share in the dance with me. And so I hope that it inspires you all. I hope it brings a smile to your face and maybe a little moment of joy today. And I strongly encourage you to, to ask yourself today, what is a step I can take towards furthering my healing in all of this? Maybe turn on some worship music or your favorite song and dance in the kitchen and get a little silly because I think that art and creativity and dance is so powerful and healing. And I think we are invited to do it every day with God by our side. Love you all and praying for a peace that surpasses all understanding for you today. Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Shine upon
upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you.